I had such an incredible experience last night with a mama kangaroo and baby that have been eating my garden. As some of you know, particularly on my Patreon, um, I have had challenges this summer being that it's been very dry, very hot, and because of this weather, the kangaroos come in and they eat anything green, anything with moisture, and it, they're tired. It's very hot. We're at the end of summer and we have had the longest challenging almost two weeks of just constant 40 degrees plus, 40 Celsius. So that's, I don't know, 110, maybe 105 Fahrenheit. I'm not sure exactly, but it's been very hot. And these kangaroos have been coming in. And last night, they came in at about eight o'clock. I was out watering and I rolled my bin out and that spooked them. And I thought, you know what? I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna talk to these kangaroos. And what I did, so I just stood very still I could feel the ants biting me. I have ants galore at my house and they have been driving me nuts for the most part. But something extraordinary happened last night that's never ever happened to me. And I just had the clairvoyant moment to just stand still, clear my mind, stand still and do not move. And I started communicating with this one mama kangaroo. She would have been, she jumped away because I was rolling the bin and that spooked her and baby. And they went way across the creek. And I thought, I want her to come back and drink. I had my drippers on, the water was running and, and they were, you know, around that area because they were thirsty, they wanted to drink. So I stood there getting bitten alive by ants at my feet and they were crawling up me and I thought, I'm just going to clear my mind and become very, very still. And that's exactly what I did. And within two minutes of me doing that, I kid you not, the ants stopped biting me. They did keep walking all over me, but they stopped biting. And the moment I... And so the moment I did this, the moment I just stopped and became still and like I said for about two minutes the ant stopped biting me and then I saw mama kangaroo slowly coming towards me she would have been a, maybe about 30 meters away from me at that point and she put her head down and then just slowly started dragging herself if you've ever seen a kangaroo when they're relaxed or grazing on the ground they tend to just pull themselves and drag you know their hind legs behind them when they're very relaxed and she did this and and every few drags she would look up and look at me and then start going again because I was telepathically communicating with her I had said to her come back and drink the water it's very good it's nice and cool I mean you no harm it's okay and I told her how pretty she looked with her gray fur and after I had told her that and just kept reassuring her I mean her no harm and I would like for her to drink the water come back and drink the water she slowly came back and so she was about 30 meters away then she was about 20 then at 15 I thought oh usually it's usually around that distance where kangaroos they will not come any closer right but she kept coming closer she kept coming and coming closer and closer and closer I could not believe it I did not move a muscle and by this time the ants even though they weren't biting me they were crawling up my face and into my hair and but I did not dare move a finger all I moved was the blinking of my eyes and every now and then I didn't want to give mama kangaroo full eye contact so I would just kind of move my eyes down and look somewhere else I became absolutely staggered when this kangaroo she she came closer than 10 meters and then she kept moving she 
eventually came to only about three meters away from me. She came right up beside me about three meters away and just started lapping the water, drinking the water from the drippers. And at this point, I was so in awe and I was just so overwhelmed. I could not believe what I was seeing. A wild kangaroo that, you know, has, has, has never been around me. Obviously they know who I am. They see me out in my garden, um, but never, ever, ever a wild kangaroo coming this close. They're very timid by nature, very shy. I was absolutely blown away. I could not believe what I was witnessing. And, and I was gently encouraging her to come closer until she come back to the water and was right next to me. Baby was still way, way away, but here's mum. She would look up at me. She Then she'd go down and, and slurp the water. Then she'd look up a little bit and then she'd slurp some more. Oh my God, people of earth, my breath was taken. And it was just, it's so hard to put into words, but it was just extraordinary how this wild kangaroo listened to me. And, and my communication was absolutely just a, a clear dialogue with her. I knew she could hear me. I knew she was listening and she stayed there. And then baby came over, bouncing over, then sliding in and came right next to mum. Obviously, you know, if the mum's trusting, baby's going to trust mama. And she came too, and they were both just slurping at the drippers. Oh my God, I was absolutely taken by this experience. And this is the fundamental aspect of animal communication. And I was absolutely, I was absolutely blown away. That's never ever happened to me. I'm always talking to animals, but I'm moving. I'm not completely still like I was last night. There were so many times where the ants crawling all over me just bothered me so much, but I just, I wouldn't move. And, and my calming demeanor obviously affected the ants. And they, like I said, before Mama Kangaroo started moving, she was dragging herself slowly towards me. I was just, there are no words to describe the feeling I felt. I just, it's never happened like that for me before, ever. And, and then another Mama Kangaroo with her baby on the other side of the property started moving in very slowly on the other direction. I noticed her from my eyes, but I didn't want to move or make a sound to scare Mama. And this went on for about 10 minutes. I just stood there and eventually a car came past, scared them and they jumped away. But I, and I could finally move and, you know, shake all the ants off me. But then I tried again and they did come in again, but um, not as close, but a bond was just formed last night and trust, a real trust. I just I was absolutely blown away that if you if you if you're willing to just stand and be still for a moment empty your mind and and clear your thoughts you start to tap in to the to the energies around you both animal insect the ether the elementals you can really do things with your with the power of your soul and and the the feeling of your heart, you can really radiate and it can be felt by others. I've actually had to move now because <laughs> I'm getting bitten by ants. There were no ants when I started talking, but I guess they're attracted to the energy again. Oh my God, it was such an amazing experience. So yeah, I just wanted to share that amazing encounter. Animal communication.